Remote ID is around the corner and many people are unaware of the rules and regulations that are to come. And in this video, I'm going to sum everything up for you. It is important that you watch this all the way through so that you don't miss any of the important details, but let's jump right into it. So on December 16th, there was a remote ID deadline for manufacturers to include built-in remote ID in their UAVs. And so now any drone created after December 16th, 2022 that you purchase is going to have the technology built in. However, there is a mandatory remote ID compliance for users flying their drones in the United States, and this date is set for September 16th, 2023, so less than a year away from the recording of this video. So you can fly your drone without worrying about remote ID until that September 16th, 2023 deadline. Now, what does this mean for old drones? So unfortunately for old DJI drones that are discontinued, they will likely not be remote ID compliant. So drones like the Mavic 2 are not going to be remote ID compliant. So what does this mean? Well, this means that you are going to have to purchase a remote ID module. One of the viewers here on the channel, Atomic Drones, left a comment pointing out the Drone Tags remote ID module. I decided to look into it and it's definitely something that you guys should look at. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. It comes in at about $300 and it's a device that you can attach to your drone so that you're remote ID compliant. So if you plan on flying the Mavic 2 or older drones like that beyond September of 2023, then you're definitely going to have to look into this. It's unfortunate that old DJI drones will not be compliant with remote ID and it is pretty interesting to think about because what are people flying the mini drones going to do when you attach that module to the drone it's definitely going to be over that 249 grams so that kind of is disappointing but other than that there is going to be solutions out there so that you can continue to fly your drone legally in the united states but that's pretty much it for now. If there's any big remote ID updates, you can expect a video here on the channel. If this video was helpful to you at all, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Also, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up so that way it ranks higher in the algorithm. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.